it is a super rainy day today the rest of the week is supposed to be super rainy except for friday we'll get some sunshine so today's agenda is i want to go down south to seattle seward park um i think i've only really been there once but i thought it might be nice to get in some steps do some nice walking As you can hear, it is very, very wet out. I'm on my phone because I feel like my phone is more waterproof than the Canon G7X, especially with like the lens going in and out. You know, for it being as cold and rainy as it is, lots of people out on the trail today. This must be a really just good place to walk the dogs. So I haven't seen a lot of people with dogs. <laughs> phone is already pretty soaked. Um, and I did get a warning for the charging port, so I'm gonna have to be careful with that. Okay, I'm gonna make my way towards the northern beach, just enjoy a little bit of the forest. I think it should be about maybe like a mile and a half total hike, so, or you know, a little waltz through the forest, so that should be nice. All right, I hear something. Lake Washington. So I'm at like the northern tip of the park. I am very, very soaked. I'm taking the lake path back to my car. So today I've done 2.1 miles, so I think this was probably about a mile and a half. I am so cold and wet, I'm ready to dry off. I'm home. I'm actually going to be making dinner this evening. Um, so we're going to be doing some potato soup. Got some potatoes to make something nice and cozy and comforting. I do have a workout class this evening at 7.30, 7.15. So I'm not sure if like very creamy soup is the best option. So I'm just gonna have like the smallest amount at six o'clock. Cause it's five o'clock now, it'll probably take an hour to prepare. So yeah, I'm gonna make soup. And I'm listening to an audiobook. I just finished a new suspense novel that came out, thriller, suspense, I guess, called Rock, Paper, Scissors. Um, I enjoyed the twists that were in the, there was like one big twist that I was like, ooh, that's fun and clever, but ultimately I think it was pretty meh. I don't know, I don't know why it didn't captivate me in the way that some of these mysteries and, you know, thrillers can be. Maybe I wasn't scared and I wasn't terribly curious, which I feel like is a thrilling mystery. You need to be, you want to solve the mystery or figure out the puzzle, but you also want to be scared and, ten and like have tension. I don't know. I'm starting the sequel to Black Girls Must Be Exhausted. This is now Black Girls Must Be Magic, which I didn't know would be a direct sequel. I thought it was just going to be kind of like a series. Uh, following different characters, but nope, it's the same characters from the first book, which is nice because I really did enjoy that first one. So this one is a bit shorter and should be super fun. So I'm gonna listen to that and make some potato soup.
guys, it is so sunny looking outside. How fun and exciting. So this week was not as rainy as I thought it was going to be looking at the weather. So I feel kind of silly for going on that big walk in the park when it was like ridiculously rainy. Uh, but whatever, it was still great to go out and walk around and be out in nature. Monday evening, I did a workout class with some friends. We did it's like a hip hop dance class and my goodness, that was so fun. But I definitely am looking forward to doing this more regularly in hopes of like actually understanding the, the moves, you know, like I was felt very uncoordinated, very like confused, you know, very fast paced, but it was my first time to really any dance class. And through class pass I've really just done yoga spin classes and Pilates so very very fun also with class pass Brittany and I are going to a rowing class on Saturday so I will bring you guys to as much as I can show of that on Saturday but I'm here on this Thursday sitting with you because I got another kinder box that I wanted to open with you I feel really silly I feel like I kept calling it kinder like tinder with a t uh, I was thinking like oh like like wood Tinder is also kinder, like kindling. Kinder. The idea is it's kinder to yourself and the planet. Kinder. All right, let's do a quick little unboxing of this. So we got five products here. First up, we got a little eyeshadow palette. This is actually perfect timing. I've been trying to make a little uh, go-to gym makeup bag um, because I want to get in the habit of when I go to the gym or the pool that I can just kind of get ready for my day right there with some quick simple essentials. So this is the Estates on Wednesday palette. It's a little darker than I was expecting, but some nice simple shades of brown. Next we got a little roller ball. This is the Poppy Seed Oil Perfume by the Inkling Scents. Very floral, sensual, youthful, and long-lasting. Bright notes of cucumber, mandarin, and sexy creme brulee cedarwood. I like it. It's perfect for summer. Roller balls are not my favorite. Now that I read the scent notes, I can smell that like woodsy cedar, but I just would have said it was floral, uh, maybe a little bit of like fruit. Yeah, I guess I can smell like a cucumber mandarin. This next thing is interesting. This is a bamboo wooden toothbrush. Honestly, I already kind of don't like the feel of it. I would, it's got that kind of like, I don't like touching like ter terracotta and it kind of gives me that same feel that like dry, uh, scratchy feeling, uh, but it is nice that it is super compostable, uh, renewable, bamboo, some nice bristles. Uh, this seems to be need to be replaced every three to four months. How long are you supposed to keep your regular toothbrush? Isn't that like once a year? I kind of wish it was a little smaller and then I could make it like a travel brush, but right now just a random extra toothbrush. I feel like with every beauty box comes a moisturizer or some sort of cream lotion this is the tiniest jar this non-greasy fast absorbing and deeply hydrating cream is very good for you black goji berries deliver amino acids vanilla and lavender provide a nice scent and this is by delia organics just because of the size of this i am going to put this in my gym bag as well because i do have just like a small bit of moisturizer in there and i know that will go quickly um especially with the pool so i'm gonna put this in my little gym bag and lastly we got an eyeliner this is the 100 percent pure eyeliner in the blackest pencil liner for your eyes made with jojoba oil chamomile butter and mango seed oil so very soft i wonder if that's going to kind of move around on the lid a lot but this would probably be the perfect eyeliner to do like a big smudgy look because it's got so much oil in it so maybe for like a going out doing like a smoky eye yeah i'm actually kind of liking that different than the types of look i normally go for but that's kind of fun so yeah, that's this month's Kinder Box. All right, so this evening I have a movie night with my friends Justin and Brittany. Justin just bought a boat a couple weeks ago and we have been talking a lot about uh, sailing trips. And with that, we were talking about the Wes Anderson film, 
Life Aquatic. I have not seen it and I don't think anybody except Justin has um, and I think it's just gonna be very fun to be that kind of spunky quirky uh, you know nautical film to watch. I've heard about it for years but I've never sat down and watched it so uh, hence my beanie. I feel like everybody's got to wear a beanie tonight. Yeah. Oh and if I want to do it right I also need to remove that. Now proceed to the more advanced system located on the colleagues offshore. So I'm so tired. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Today should be a super full day. I am picking up Brittany and we are going to a rowing class. We're going to a rowing class in South Lake Union. Uh, we were out late ish yesterday for a birthday party, but I think a good sweat will feel good, hopefully. Oof. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right, let's mambo. Yes. So we just finished row class. And I really enjoyed it. I think mm -hmm. it was like a full body spin class with a lot of like really fun music, high energy. You get to push yourself. Our instructor was so fun. Yeah, she was. She was so cute. I feel like that makes really the biggest difference. Totally, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Yeah. Want it to come back for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. So we went through class pass. Um, but now we're going to go to, where are we going? We're going to Temple Pastry. And I think it's like First Hill, Central Hill. Mm -hmm. And they uh, do like a seasonal selection that only available on weekends. And they sell out and the line's out the door. Oh. They just opened up their indoor seating. So I'm very excited. There should be some good pastries. All right, we gotta go before the line sells out. Mm -hmm. All right, bye. All right, you wanna tell us what we got? All our goodies. Oh wow, look at them. So we got our Reuben croissant. This little croissant over here is our uh, shallot and onion. Coconut curry paste with a turmeric glaze croissant. This uh, sugary donut is horchata cream filled. And this savory donut here is filled with paprika and manchego cheese. Ooh. doesn't dye everything I love. Wow. Very good. Yeah. They um, posted on their Instagram that they were having a hard time selling this one. Really? Mm-hmm. So I just think people are intimidated by curry and especially like savory sweets. Sweet. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, that's fantastic. Horchata mm -hmm. cream filling, so exciting. Want to eat that last macaroon? Yes. Hell yeah. We forgot to get a macaroon. Black sesame seed though. How often do you see that? I love it. I'm very excited. Little splatters. Beautiful. Perfect. Ooh! Ooh! It's got a little surprise inside. It's not as sesame as I was thinking it'd be. Like that was that sparks one point ahead. It's like because you're you're probably right. <laughs> well, I don't like. Ah!